How are you? Hey, pretty good. What's happening? Uh, I got a couple questions for you. I got a couple answers. So obviously there are a lot of crazy vegans in the world. Um, and I think that's where most of the hate comes from. Yeah, you're talking about me. I'm that crazy vegan your mama <laughs> warned you about. Uh, no, in my opinion, not a, you're not a crazy vegan. Crazy vegans are more people like that vegan teacher. And because those are some of the most popular uh, vegans, do you think that is where most of the hate stems from? No, uh, because we get hate even when we're super polite and stuff. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, of course, more controversial activism is going to be more likely to result in controversial or negative reactions. But uh, people, people will be mad at us anyways. Uh, I used to make fun of vegans even when they weren't preaching at me. They weren't saying anything. They were just sitting there. And I'm like, you guys are stupid. and You're weak. I bet I can run faster than you. Stupid stuff, right? And now look at me. So, Another question is, you guys talk a lot and a lot about morality here. But there are a butt ton of different opinions. So what is the real definition of mortality? Mortality or morality? Morality, sorry. It's okay. Um, morality, yeah. So, I mean, that's a deep philosophical question that philosophers have been res uh, wrestling with for eons. Um, but my moral stance, and, you know, it's, it can vary depending on which vegan you talk to. Uh, they might be a utilitarian or a deontologist or a threshold deontologist or something else entirely. My goal in this world, uh, you know, I used to be a really selfish, violent person who hurt humans and animals. Um, but uh, then I became a human rights activist and then an animal rights activist and now I'm both. And so my goal is to uh, minimize the amount of suffering that exists in the world and the amount of suffering that I bring to the world. I wanna minimize that. And I want to maximize the amount of pleasure and well-being in the world both for myself, for other humans, and for other animals, like all sentient life. So minimize suffering, maximize well-being, uh, while respecting individual rights as much as possible in the process. So, uh, yeah, I want the best for everybody. Um, and, yeah, there you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Another question is, there are a lot of vegans in this server. There's something like 2,000 vegans, but 8,000 meat eaters. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think that's awesome. Uh, I think it should be even more than that because we've got like 20,000 members in this server now, don't we? Um, but yeah, the, the, they've, uh, you know, it's always mostly uh, non-vegans who are in the server and that's what we want. Like we want to um, get people in here who need to learn about this stuff. You know, we're trying to do outreach. This is, uh, we're trying to educate and motivate people and uh, so we don't want to just talk to ourselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of people joining the server because they are interested and they do care about truth and justice and animals and they have questions and maybe they want to go vegan, they just don't know how or, uh, you know, they're scared uh, and so they need us to pump them up, you know, or or maybe they're just trying to troll and that's good too because, like, you know, I, I'll humiliate the trolls on stage and that makes our side look better also and, uh, you know, any kind of activity is, is good. Um, but, yeah, and a lot of people come here with a lot of objections and they uh, they get answers that they didn't expect and they become convinced and they go vegan. Uh, I've checked out your YouTube, like you've said to, and I've seen videos of you saying that you've convinced people who work in the meat industry and you've taught them about the secrets and that you've uh, changed their minds. Is it harder or is it easier? To reach people who are actually in the industry as opposed to regular consumers? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to reach consumers probably. Uh, like a lot of these people who are in the industry, they'd rather not be in that industry. Like most people don't want to slit throats eight hours a day uh, at like a, being a slaughterhouse worker. You get, you're likely to get PTSD doing that. Uh, but – uh, and it's disgusting. Like it stinks in a slaughterhouse. It stinks outside of a slaughterhouse if you've ever been to one. It smells like blood and piss and shit, right? So – yeah, not a fun place to work. Mostly people who are desperate for a job, like immigrants or felons, people who can't get jobs other other places, you know, um, poor communities. I've got friends who have, you know, used to work in slaughterhouses and now they're animal rights activists, vegans. Uh, but yeah, that's harder because their livelihood is kind of dependent on it. Sure, a lot of them could find another job, but uh, not all of them. And um, 
though a lot of people do get disgusted working in those environments and stop eating animals as a result. Um, some of them just get desensitized, though. Uh, so, yeah, but generally speaking, if you're... If you actually got the blood on your hands, you're like really connected to that oppression. Whereas if you're just buying a product on the shelf, you're not even seeing the slaughter, you're not hearing the screams, you're really disconnected, you're living in denial about what the thing actually is. And so you're not like actively trying to hurt an animal, you know. Um, so, uh, so, and those people, because of that, are, and, and most people, you know, like, like they're, they're less likely to support violence against animals, you know, they might... They might say they're against it, but they still buy it. But at least they, you know, agree in principle that it's wrong. Another question that I have is, for me, I'm curious about going vegan. And I've been thinking about it a lot. And I wanted to know, should I just jump straight into it or take it gradually? Just do it. You're strong. You're smart. You can do it. The animals need your help. It's not hard. And, uh, and we've got your back, you know, we'll give you all the resources you need. We can give you the, uh, the veg curious role, which will open up new channels in this server, like the help me go vegan chat where you can, you know, it's all free it's just volunteer activists who will answer any questions you have or give you, you know, recipes or tell you where you can shop or, uh, give you documentaries to watch and that kind of thing. So get the, you know, let's ask a moderator if one's listening or you can ping them later. Uh, ask a moderator to give you the veg curious role. Anybody in the audience can do that if you want. And uh, and so there's that. Uh, what else did you ask? I'm so spaced out today. Even I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, oh yeah. So just, just believe in yourself. Like, it's super easy. And just prioritize the victims instead of your own selfish habits and what everybody else is doing and the peer pressure and shit. And just stand up for justice, you know? Uh, imagine if it was you being victimized. Watch the slaughterhouse video so you see how serious this is, what like, like how bad they are being treated, and just think you wouldn't want that done to a dog, you wouldn't want that done to you, so they, they you know, we shouldn't do it to them, and then, uh, and then take action, and then speak up, you know, like share the slaughterhouse videos on your social media and talk to your friends and family and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, this whole meatless Monday thing is bullshit, right? This whole, oh, I'm going to go vegetarian first, which is what I did is bullshit. Like, I wish I hadn't, I, I didn't know any better though. Right. So I, I stopped eating animals overnight, uh, and just went from a meat eater to a vegetarian, uh, and then went vegan a year later. But that's only because I didn't know about the cruelty and slaughter in the egg and dairy industry. And as soon as I found out that those animals are treated the same way and killed as babies, I stopped eating those products right away also. So I went... Uh, vegetarian overnight and then a year later I went vegan overnight and I wish I had known sooner I wish I had never eaten any of these products uh, because like being a meat eater for 26 years means that I paid for the needless killing of like 2,000 innocent animals uh, and I'm ashamed of that you know but like I was tricked by my society into thinking that that's you know okay and um, natural normal and necessary but I was lied to and now I know the truth and so I'm taking action I've heard some vegans say before that actually being vegetarian is worse than being a meat a meat eater. What do you think of that? It depends, like, because, you know, some vegetarians, like, in my case, you know, like, I thought I was doing enough. I was trying to help the animals. And that's good. Like, that's way better than what I was doing before of just not even considering the animals that I was eating, right? So I was making progress. And in my mind, like, you couldn't, like, fault me. Uh, for animal cruelty because I didn't realize what I was doing, but I was nevertheless still harming animals with my dollar. So, uh, so, but once I found out, I changed right away. So that kind of vegetarian, I give them hugs all day, okay? But they got to go vegan right now, okay? Uh, and, and, and But there are vegetarians who aren't even doing it for the animals. They're just doing it for their health. Which, like, yeah, it's good to be healthy, but, like, care about the animals, you know? And, and basically what they're saying in that is that if it was, if they thought it was healthy to eat meat, they would have no problem stabbing animals. So that's a big problem, right? So they're still speciesist, even though they're vegetarians, because they don't care about the animals. Uh, so there's that. And then also there are some vegetarians who are quote unquote doing it for the animals but then you tell them you show them videos of the egg and dairy industry and and how uh 
you know, cows and chickens are tortured and killed as babies for milk and eggs. And, and this, this vegetarian, this ethical vegetarian gets mad at you. And they're like, hey, don't judge me. Like, I'm doing my part. I'm not eating animals anymore. You need to aim at the meat eaters instead of me and blah, blah, blah. You pushy vegans. Get the fuck out of here. That's animal cruelty. That's speciesism, and I ain't taking it, right? So that kind of vegetarian, like, they know better. They, they, and they're already taking some amount of action, so they, they're, like, half-assing it and being a super hypocrite. As opposed to, like, there's, you know, some meat eaters who have never seen any slaughterhouse videos, who have never thought about this issue, who have never heard of speciesism, who have never met a vegan, who have never heard any of this stuff or watched a documentary. So those type of people, they're causing more harm than the vegetarian technically because they're, you know, eating animals and paying, you know, uh, paying for more animals to be killed than the vegetarian. But they are less aware of the issue. So I don't blame them as much. They're still like in socially indoctrinated and like brainwashed. Uh, so, so this vegetarian, uh, it's more of a problem. Another question is, do you ever see a world that will be, like, sort of 90 or 100% vegan? Yeah, so uh, I'd say, you know, this whole 90% sounds, you know, more right. Like, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> live in some fantasy world where, like, everybody's going to be, you know, singing and dancing the whole time, you know. But uh, I wanted to make one thing uh, real quick about eggs and dairy. I'm posting in stage two text. Uh, video evidence backing up my claims that baby animals are tortured and killed for the production of eggs and milk. So uh, go to stage two text everybody and check out this video I'm posting called Dairy is Scary. This is a YouTube video. It's only five minutes long. It has six million views. Dairy mm -hmm. is Scary. And that will show you video evidence of undercover investigations of how uh, animals are treated for milk. These are babies and their mothers and we torture them. Uh, and then the next video I'm gonna post in stage two text is uh, from the same YouTube creator, Aaron Janis, and this one is about eggs, and it's called What's Wrong With Eggs? Uh, so I want everybody to watch those when you get a chance. Uh, save them in your, in your internet and check them out after the conversation or whatever. Uh, okay, so what were we talking about? Uh, about do you ever see this 90 or 100 percent vegan? Okay, cool. So, yeah, 90 percent uh, sounds more likely because, you know, there's always going to be murder. Uh, there's always going to be racism, you know, but the goal is to, like, outlaw these things so that they don't become as prevalent in our society. Uh, so that they're not systemic and uh, so that we, you know, disincentivize people from committing these violent acts in the first place. So in the same way that we have international human rights laws, uh, we're aiming to eventually have animal rights laws, international animal rights laws. Um, but, yeah, there will always be some people eating animals. There will always be some people murdering each other. But, yeah, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change for sure. Um, for multiple reasons. One, of course, the animal rights. A lot of people are waking up to that. Another is for health, uh, and another is for the environment. A lot of people are going plant-based for the environment uh, and, and for their health. And so that helps the animal rights movement. That helps less animals be killed, even if the people are doing it for, you know, not the animal rights reasons. Those other reasons are good, too. Uh, but, yeah. So, so it's going to start with, like, small progressive cities in, in developed nations, so like Berkeley, California, uh, is probably you know going to be one of the first cities that goes vegan and like shuts down the slaughterhouses and bans meat, dairy, and eggs, and ha and enacts a, a an animal bill of rights into the law, uh, preventing you know provi protecting golly, protecting animals from being needlessly killed by humans. So then it'll spread to that same kind of legislation will spread to other cities and then bigger cities and then a whole state will do it and then other states and then it'll become a federal law. And that's just what happened with like the gay rights movement for gay marriage and stuff. Uh, and then, you know, so over the next 10, 20, 30 years, you're going to see cities and then states and then countries going vegan. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see exactly what happens. It's going to be cool. Uh, I've heard you say animal rights quite a couple of times. What do you mean by that? Yeah, like, uh, you know, the right to, like, there's several different things we could talk about there, but, 
the, basically the same kind of rights you would want for a dog, right? You don't think the dog needs the right to drive a car, but you do want the dog to have the right to not be kicked needlessly or to be shot in the head needlessly, right? Or to be kept in a cage their whole life or to be killed as a child, as a puppy, right? Or uh, to be... Um, raced against their will or forced to do dog fighting or any of this stuff, right? Just basic stuff that's pretty simple. You, you know, that's what we want for all animals. Right. And, uh, since you've become a vegan, do you feel like your life has become in any way, shape or form, like happier or better or like anything like that? Yeah. It's kind of two sided in the sense that like, um, so like, the downside is that like when I went vegan, because I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff for you, like there's there, you know, being vegan is a thing, okay? So like you, you, it's a little bit less convenient, you know, there's not vegan restaurants all over the place and a lot of restaurants don't sell vegan products or, or really good ones, you know? So, but that's going to change as more people go vegan or plant-based for their health or the environment. More vegan products are going to be, become available and be afford, more affordable and uh, so stuff like that. Another thing is that, yeah, your friend, some of your friends are going to make fun of you, right? And some people, if you try to talk to them about it, they're going to make fun of you and that sucks, right? But, and you're going to maybe have to find some new friends and shit. Um, but all of, and, uh, and you're going to be traumatized from watching slaughterhouse videos, you know? Uh, so, and, and you're going to, cr- you, you know, what happened to me at least is I cried a lot about animal cruelty since going vegan because I started watching slaughterhouse videos to get informed about what's happening so that I can stop the suffering. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, there's going to be some bad things that happen, but it's worthwhile compared to being an oppressor who stabs baby animals, right? And it's, you know, our inconvenience of buying something else is nothing compared to these animals having their throat slit in a slaughterhouse. So I just realigned my priorities, right? It becomes very easy once you focus on the victims instead of yourself. Uh, to go vegan and, but anyway, so, hmm, uh, as far as good things that happen to you though, (laughs) so yeah, uh, you grow in, um, uh, your ability to think critically, uh, to evaluate a situation and to get rid of discriminatory practices like arbitrary differentiations of treatment based on things like race or sex or species, right? These are arbitrary things that are not a justification for stabbing. Okay, nobody gets to control what body they're born into, and there's nothing wrong with being different. So if we're against racism and sexism, we should also be against speciesism. There's no real difference between a dog and a pig, okay? Uh, and so, so it helps us think more critically, become more compassionate people. Uh, it helps us not live in denial or live in the dark or be uneducated or uncaring. Uh, it helps us in our health. So yeah, heart disease, certain types of cancer, I'm way less likely to get. Uh, like bowel cancer and prostate cancer and breast cancer uh, because these these products are poison, okay? Um, and then uh, the environment, yeah. So uh, not raising animals is way better for our environment, which is better for us, uh, protects the world we live in. So uh, yeah, carbon emissions, uh, you know, greenhouse gases coming from livestock is heating up the planet, melting the ice caps, which raises the water levels and increases flooding. The resources that it takes to feed and water these animals and and the staff to take care of them, which they don't really take care of them, they stab them. But uh, all these resources, like it takes um, 16 pounds of plants to make one pound of beef, right? Because you have to feed the cow for months and months to get them up to slaughter weight to get a tiny amount of meat. Uh, And National Geographic reported that a vegan diet saves 600 gallons of water per person per day uh, because we have to water all the crops that are fed to these animals and give 70 billion animals water to drink. 70 billion, that's 10 times the human population. Uh, 70 billion land animals raised, fed, and killed every year across the world for food that we don't need to eat. Another question I had is, say you're going to a, a restaurant and you order something like a vegan soup and you found out that they were lying to you and it wasn't actually vegan, what would your initial reactions be? Would you be depressed? Would you be sad, mad? What would happen? Like after I ate it, you mean? Yeah. 
okay, like I ate it and then found out, yeah, I'd be super pissed. Um, <laughs> like that happened with me with some burritos. I was eating burritos in New Mexico for two years. I was getting the, be the bean burrito, uh, but it turned out they were using lard, which is like beef fat, animal fat in the, the refried beans and I had no clue. So for two years, I was actually eating animal products and calling myself a vegan. I mean, I was vegan because I didn't know and I was doing my best to eliminate animal cruelty as far as possible and practical practicable, which is the definition of veganism, but like, yeah, I was mad, and like, I told them to like, put a disclaimer on, you know, like, make sure, like, it's a bean, you should, people, you know, you got vegans who would come in here thinking that that's a vegan product, so, you know, uh, stop putting that in there, and make sure, if you keep it in there, make sure people know that stuff, you know, people could have allergies, you know, uh, so, um, yeah, or, or you could protest them, you know, like, to make sure they take it seriously, if they don't, like, just listen to your nice, uh, advice, yeah, you can get your friends together and go protest that fucking place, right? Disrupt their business, go inside, stand up on the table, scream with the megaphone on about all the animal cruelty happening in there, right? And how they're tricking people, with, you know, or whatever, you know? Uh, so yeah, there's multiple things you could do. You could sign, get petitions signed, have your friends call them and, and tell them. You could post about it on social media, have other people call this business and tell them to change. Uh, what are a couple of your favorite vegan snacks? Uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff. Anything you normally eat, I have a vegan version of it. Uh, like there's vegan candy, like fucking, what's it called? Uh, Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids are vegan and that's my favorite candy. Uh, Laffy Taffy is not because it has eggs in it. That was a bummer because like I really liked Laffy Taffy, but I like animals more, right? So, uh, I gave up Laffy Taffy and in the future, Laffy Taffy will be vegan. And so I'll just wait till then, uh, so that I don't have to be an animal abuser. Um, but yeah, so like, uh, vegan ice cream, Ben and Jerry's has a bunch of vegan ice cream, like 10 different kinds or something. Uh, <clears throat> I like pistachios, uh, bagels, like cinnamon raisin bagels I munch on. But look, we got vegan burgers, vegan chicken, vegan sausage, vegan cheese, vegan whatever you want, vegan pizza. Um, yeah, so it's, it ain't, it ain't that hard. Hey, right, well, thank you for answering all my questions. Have a great day, man. You're, You're a welcome. great speaker. Oh, thanks. It was nice talking to you. Bye. Bye.